New to 9 at 5. For a second time this year, Frontier Airlines has pulled its flights from the downtown Mobile Airport. Now there are zero commercial flights going in and out of the downtown airport. Tonight, the airport authority talks about the future of that location. The ads may still be running, but that new route has already been grounded. We'll have to go in and remove it so that we don't confuse the public. All direct flights to Orlando have already departed from the downtown Mobile Airport. They did two flights. The first two or three were canceled because no one booked tickets. Likely because the big draw to Orlando, Disney, was closed. The airline also only gave the flying public little notice of the new route, six days. We believe that part of that announcement was to satisfy the requirements of the CARES Act. That's the federal bailout companies used to stay afloat during the pandemic. But there was turbulence with the low-cost carrier pre-pandemic. Frontier had already pulled flights to Chicago and Denver this year. Now there's zero commercial flight activity at the downtown airport. But Mobile Airport Authority President Chris Curry says it won't be that way for long. Eventually, all of the commercial activity will take place at the downtown airport. Next month, the master plan for the downtown airport is expected to be released. It'll lay out the next 20 years of growth and provide options for the new terminal, which Curry says for now does not include using eminent domain to scoop up nearby housing to expand. There are several options uh, being considered. Uh, but I am comfortable to say that I don't think that it'll go off airport and affect any residences. The airport authority says it's requested a refund for the money spent marketing that route, less than $10,000, but says it's not likely that Frontier will issue one.